got you! Oh. Yeah. Oh. How are you? Good. Ta-da! You look lovely! In class! Oh my god. Have you had There you go. Look at you. Class! Oh my god. To my husband. One of life. <laughs> one of life's good, good men. Never one to be the loudest in a room. Incredibly quiet and humble yet the first to celebrate mine and others' achievements. It's a privilege to know someone more than anybody else knows them. And although half of this is about finding the right partner in life, it's mainly about being the right partner. So I promise to put us first, try to only be a melter half of the time. <laughs> and I know we're not big believers in the soulmate thing, but I read this one quote and it did say, when you meet the person you want to spend the rest of your life with, you want the rest of your life to start immediately. And that pretty much sums it up for me. and great friends, you're so welcome here today to support Catherine and Sean. Many of you have travelled great distances to celebrate with this wonderful couple and they're so very thankful that each one of you could be here today. As Catherine and Sean crafted their wedding guest list, they found themselves pausing often, lost in reminiscences of each one of you. They shared tales of how you met, smiled at the memories made together and reminded themselves of the impact you've all had on their lives. They call you their people, and they attribute so much of their identities to the experiences they've shared with you all. You're a huge part of who they are, and so incredibly special that you could all be here today. To my wife, Catherine. <laughs> About a year after we met, I remember Dad commenting that I was even more of a pleasure to talk to than I usually was. <laughs> And that he had a fair idea why uh, and he was so right you make me so happy you brighten up every day I get to spend with you you're humble to an absolute fault but I'll forever be your number one cheerleader and hype man we are very different people but we complement each other perfectly as a team and I can't wait to continue working on our home and life together you have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment at some point you decided to marry from that moment to yes, to this moment of yes, indeed, you've been making commitments in an informal way. All of those conversations that were held in a car, or over a meal, or during long walks, all those conversations that began with, when we're married, and continued with, I will, and you will, and we will. All those late night talks that included, someday, and somehow, and maybe. And all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows that you're about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things that we've promised and hoped and dreamed? Well, I mean it, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. For this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, even teacher. For you have learned much from one another these past few years. Surely you'll say a few words that will take you across the threshold of life and things between you will never quite be the same. Again. <laughs> For after today, you shall say to the world, that is my husband, that is my wife. Catherine, do you take Sean as your family? your best friend and your teammate for life. Will you trust him and respect him endlessly? Will you laugh with him, cry with him and love him faithfully through good times and bad? Will you support his dreams and celebrate his accomplishments? I will. <laughs> Sean, do you take Catherine as your family, your best friend and your teammate for life? Will you trust her and respect her endlessly? Will you laugh with her, cry with her and love her faithfully through good times and bad? Will you support her dreams and celebrate her accomplishments? I will. By the power vested in me, by you guys, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mitchell's father.
Catherine, you no doubt know how proud Dad would have been to be up here. His words would be unrivaled in their wisdom and their kindness, and a slight stuttering, of course. Sean, we all know how wonderful Dad would have found you, and feel proud knowing his, his favourite daughter, second favourite child, has found such a <laughs> has found such a respectable and kind gentleman. I want to take this part to pass on some life advice and marriage advice I'm sure Dad would have divulged on to both of you. Enjoy each other's company. Be relaxed with each other. Sean, untuck your t-shirt from time to time. <laughs> the hardest part of a relationship is finding your partner. You've done that. The rest is just enjoying life together. Catherine, what a delight to have you as part of our family. You've looked fantastic today, as ever. Uh, you're one of the kindest, um, most attentive people I've ever met, honestly. Uh, and a perfect match for Sean in a most mismatch kind of way. <laughs> In the search for a future partner, people look for perfection, but what you really need is a true deep connection. You need someone who will treat you with love and respect, and in this case, Sean and Catherine both really connect. Marriage can be a hard road to travel, and there will be plenty of time for each other's quirks to unravel. My advice is to approach it with a big open heart, enjoy time spent together and time spent apart. So now I must, must ask you to all raise your glass to Sean, his lovely tall ginger lass. Yeah. May they cherish each other and always be true, and may their achievements be many and their troubles be few. Sean and Catherine, you have embarked on a journey today, one that is not only about sharing life, but about growing together. As your friends and family, we've had the privilege of seeing you evolve into the incredible people you are today. You're both so friendly, so comfortable to be around, and you make the perfect pair, a team that will conquer any obstacle and savour every joy. What started as a walk through the park in 2021 soon became a promise of a lifelong walk together. So continue walking, continue having the crack, and continue enjoying life. As you step into this new chapter, we have no doubt that your marriage will be filled with love, laughter and countless happy memories. I'm tied up I'm tethered to I'm fall down Drunk in love with you I'm tied up I'm tethered to I'm fall down Drunk in love with you I'm fall down, drunk in love with you